All right, so these are the Bedrock Cairns. They've definitely seen some use today. Um, there is their thickness, so compare that to my thumb, average size thumb. So you can see it's pretty thin. Not sure exactly what we've got in terms of millimeters and whatnot, but um, but yeah. So they're pretty straightforward. They're Huarachi style, which means that this goes between your uh, big toe and ring toe, if that's what that's called. Um, there's three places where you can tighten it. There are these grips on the inside of your foot. There's this slider on the outside of your foot. And there is this strap around your heel, Velcros. So I found that it's really easy to adjust this to fit comfortably. So today I, I, I laced them up, not laced them up, but I cinched them up pretty tight. Um, but it actually worked out really well for me, so I, I like them quite a bit. They have a lot of, they have a good deal of flexibility. They can bend and all, sorry, and all that. They've also got some lugs here, and then the, um, the Vibram, whoop, there it is, the Vibram indicator there. They leave a unique tread. I've been able to follow if I gotten off trail, which I've done two or three times so far. So, you know, I've had these sandals for quite a while, but this is the first time I've actually taken them out backpacking. I wore them hiking once or twice, and I found them to be comfortable, but I was a little bit sketched out. But I've, I've been reading a lot about ultralight minimal setups, and a pound on the foot is worth six on the back, I'm told. So I decided I'd better try and switch it up, get a little bit of lightness on my feet. So I'm trying these out today. And so let's talk it out. First of all, they have been good and protective on my feet. The bottom of my feet are fairly sensitive. So this uh, aggressive tread and this uh, element of thickness is correct for me. Um, I've only had to stop twice to pull stuff out. Come on, there we go. Only had to stop twice to pull stuff out from underneath my feet. So that's not too bad. They've gone through three or four creek crossings, and they're pretty dry. You wouldn't know. They're not, not really wet at all anymore, so that's really nice. Um, I sometimes have brought them as camp shoes in the past and have used them for water, water crossings. So, yeah, um, short version is I really like them. Now, here are the things that I don't like. Pretty much the only one, really, is that this rubs my the space between my toes and it's a little bit sore now after doing five miles but that could also be my feet getting used to these sandals since I've never done this amount of distance in them before um, let's see what else they slipped a little bit when wet um, even with the socks on it was a little bit hard but I'm, I'm I feel like I'm an unusual case because I'm a pretty heavy guy this is pretty aggressive tread and I think the reason my foot slipped is because of the amount of weight on the angle of the, the sandal. I've heard that that is not a problem that many people have, so uh, it could easily be that. So my verdict is that with the socks, I like these quite a bit. Without the socks, personally, I felt too exposed. So the Njinji toe socks, the trail runners that I've got, have really made me feel more comfortable with these guys. So with that combination, man, I'm really, I'm really feeling it. I really like this. Got some funny looks when I passed a couple of people on the way in. They're like, what is he wearing? But I like that. I like explaining what's going on. And these felt pretty comfortable. So right now my verdict is 8.5 out of 10. And I will do a final verdict when I get back at the end of the day tomorrow. Uh, actually, 9 out of 10 today. The only one point is for the slipping in the sight soreness between the toes. Otherwise, uh, thumbs up. Again, those are the Bedrock Cairns. They're available from Bedrock Sandals, uh, your local retailer. I might toss some links up about it, but in short, good adventure sandals.